then it is our faith. Yes. But we didn't originate it. Uh -huh. That's why it says in Ephesians 2, what does it say? That we're saved by grace through faith. Mm -hmm. And that not of ourselves, it is the gift of God. Now let's just stop right there for a second. That and not of ourselves, it is the gift of God isn't talking about the grace part, it's talking about the faith part. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. yeah. So the faith part there that he says, by grace are you saved through faith. He, he, then he says, and that faith that will save you, that will bring forth grace in you, yes. it's not of yourselves, right. it's a gift from God. Mm -hmm. Jesus came, and he is a gift from God. He is the faith, and I behold in Jesus oh, yeah. that my sin has been forgiven. Yes. Oh, yeah. And then that animates me with grace. Mm -hmm. Now, did I come up with the faith that my sin was forgiven? No. Yeah. No. Mm -hmm. God told me. Mm -hmm. Who did he tell me through? The Lamb yes. that took away the sin of the world. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. And so he says, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God. The faith part is the part that's the gift from God. Then he goes into works. Not of works, right? Yes. That part's talking about the grace part. Yeah. yeah. Right? Right. That's why he goes into, for you are God's workmanship. Well, how does God create? Through the spirit of faith, it says. <laughs> God, who called forth light out of darkness through the spirit of faith. So this faith that will animate with your life from grace. It's not of yourselves, it's a gift from God. Right. So don't look at your ability to bring forth faith, but look at the faith that came in the person of Jesus and it will produce in you. Mm -hmm. For you are God's workmanship and he will create you in the image of the faith that came in the person of Christ Jesus, right. which is the spirit of faith. That's why it says God created all things through Jesus. So in the day, he wants to bring forth a certain life in you, a life of peace and love and joy and kindness and long-suffering and meekness and all those things. And he wants to bring forth immortality in your mortal body. He's going to do it by preaching the faith. Hallelujah. <laughs> Let me ask you a question.